Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Hate to burst your bubble, but Cop Copper Mountain's new bubble chairlift is not quite ready for action. Copper blames programming malfunctions for the delay in opening their new bubble chairlift, the American Flyer. The resort says once the issues are addressed and it's tested, the world's longest bubble chairlift will be open for guests. We have so many warm, sunny days that we'll have a good sheet of ice one day, and the very next day that sheet of ice will be unstable and somebody will fall through. West Metro Fire has this warning for people and your pets. Stay away from the ice. Just today, a dog fell through thin ice at the main reservoir in Lakewood after pulling off its leash to chase ducks. They commend the dog's owners for calling 911 instead of attempting the rescue themselves. Wildlife officers in Aurora were called out to help a buck that fell in a 10-foot manhole on Saturday. Officers say the open hole was at a construction site. They first tranquilized the deer, then with the help of construction crews, used a makeshift pulley to get the buck out. After waking up, the deer was able to walk off on its own, seemingly unharmed. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your forecast. We've got some mild temperatures for January and consistent throughout the week in the 50s. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.